Hello, everybody. It is I, Grover, all ready for bed. I have on my adorable pajamas. I have brushed my little teeth and washed my furry little face. Now I must get my cute and fuzzy teddy bear. Then I will be all ready for bed. Hmm. There may be one teeny tiny little problem. I looked under the covers, but my huggy wuggy teddy bear is not there. I looked in all my drawers and cabinets, but he is not there either. Your friend, your furry friend Grover, is running out of ideas. Can you think of any other place to look? Where, oh where, can my teddy bear be? Reader, where? What did you say? What did you say? Under the bed. Under the bed? Oh my goodness! I could not possibly look there. It is so very dark under the bed, especially at night time. Absolutely not! Oh, but what if my teddy bear really is under the bed? What if he is frightened and waiting for me to save him? I must look under the bed. But, gulp, what else could be under the bed? What if there is something scary like, like a large fuzzy spider? And what if, what if the spider says, Oh, oh, I am frightened just thinking about it. So funny, right? Oh, have we finished? But I have already looked everywhere. Else, there is no other place my teddy bear could be. Oh dear. I must rescue my fuzzy little teddy bear. I, Grover, will have to be brave. Brave sure is hard sometimes. I will wear an under-the-bed explorer suit to help me be brave. Then I'll be ready for anything. I will need my... I will need a helmet. What's the helmet? Yes, that is very important, right? And goggles. A flashlight. Yes, I'll need that to see in the dark. Ooh, I hope it is not too dark. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Being brave, I will also bring my fishing pole. Um, it's a fishing pole. Mm, correct. And my super richy net. And my snorkel. Um, what is a snorkel? Snorkel, so you can breathe under the bed, but you use it in the sea, right? And I had better bring this banana. What? In case my teddy bear is hungry. And bunny slippers. <gasps> Why did he bring bunny slippers? Grover says, I just like bunny slippers. <laughs> Am I not the bravest monster you have ever seen? I am looking under the bed. Goodness, look at all these nice toys under here. Maybe I should visit them more often. And look, I am so happy to see you, Teddy. I was so worried. Are you alright? You seem just as happy as always. What a relief. You must have slipped under the bed sometime when we were playing. But I promise that I did not forget about you, Teddy Bear. Now, I am very tired from this great adventure. Let's go on top of the bed. We will snuggle under the covers, and then I will sing you a nice sleepy time lullaby. You want to press? Teddy bear, oh little bear, you are small, brown, and fuzzy. And I love you, yes I love you. With my cute little blue heart, you were lost, now you are found. I am hugging you tight, go to sleep, safe and sound. My dear Teddy, good night. There now, Teddy Bear, are you sleepy? I am sleepy. We had such a very exciting time tonight. Since we were both so brave, Teddy bear, would you like to go on another adventure tomorrow? 
I, Grover, will be brave in another dark and mysterious place. The closet. The end.